all math people are elitist. This is something that people always say. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you what I think about that. And then we're gonna take a look at four books that are actually in some small way, maybe considered elitist by some people. What these books all have in common though, is that they are all extremely rigorous math books. The thing is, math is really, really hard. It takes a lot of work to get good at math. I mean, if you look here, look at all of these papers, you would think that maybe some of these papers don't have writing on them. No, they all have writing on them, right? They're all covered in math. And that's what it takes to get good at math, right? Stacks and stacks of problems, hours of reading. And so I think what happens is when people work really, really hard on something, they feel like, I don't know, like it's like a badge of honor. There's like some glory to it for some people. And it makes them perhaps come across as elitist. But in my opinion, I don't really think that's the case. I think the most important thing you should take away from this discussion of math and being an elitist is to really be humble and remember, you know, math is hard for everyone. These books are no joke. All right, so let's go ahead and talk briefly about each of these books because they're all relatively famous and very, very well known. This first book is Real and Complex Analysis and it's by Walter Rudin. And so this book is so famous, it has a nickname. People call it Papa Rudin. Apparently it was part of the Mary Grove College Library, the Monroe campus. I don't know where that is. Real and Complex Analysis. So I bought this book even before taking a class on the subject. This edition is from 1966. And this book is awesome. You can see right away what you need to know in order to read this book. You basically have to know a lot of math. This is a graduate level book. Here it says, this is undoubtedly the most important function in mathematics. It is defined for every complex number z by the formula. So that's the power series for e to the z. They're defining it that way via the series, which converges. And it says it here, the series one converges absolutely for every z and converges uniformly on every bounded subset of the complex plane. Thus, it is a continuous function. It goes on and talks more about it. So a very rigorous book, um, not for the faint of heart. It has no answers, unfortunately. I wish it did. And it's basically graduate level real analysis. Very legendary book. Its counterpart is the much more gentle, but still considered extremely rigorous principles of mathematical analysis. And this is also by Walter Rudin. So this one is called Baby Rudin. And this one is called Papa Rudin. So because this is what undergraduates take in an advanced calculus class, or maybe like a mathematical analysis class. And then this is what graduate students take after they already have a full math degree, right? So keep that in mind um, if you buy this book, and I'll try to leave links in the description to all of these books. It's something that you might not really understand a lot of because it takes a lot of work to get here. So let's talk a little bit more about this book. One of the things I really like about this book is that it has a lot of information in it. Despite it being a fairly small book, it's got a lot of really good math and really good examples. I had a friend who actually read this entire book and he didn't do any of the problems, but he read the entire book from the start to the finish. And he's a really smart guy. He has his PhD in mathematics. It's going through the contents here so you can see it. Yeah, I mean, tons of information in this book. The exercises in this book can be pretty tough. There's plenty of exercises that are easy slash medium, but there's also some that are a little bit harder. I would say it's a good mix, but this book is still a tough read. This is considered a rigorous book and it is not for the faint of heart. I should mention that I think that the section on Duddy Kind Cuts is in the appendix on the newer versions of this book. I'm not positive. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But I believe this is in the appendix on newer editions. This is an older edition of the text. Here we have another legendary book that is considered extremely rigorous. It is Complex Analysis by Alfors. And again, I picked books that are considered, you know, rigorous, perhaps elitist, right? Because they're so hard to read and they take so much work. But what you get from sitting down with a book like this and a piece of paper and a pencil and slowly working through just a few pages is incredible. If you sit down for an hour a day with one of these books 
and you just grind through what you can, you're gonna come out stronger. You'll also probably come out with a lot of questions though because you won't understand a lot of the math. It is a rigorous text. Here you can see the topics. My copy smells really good. I can't wait to give it a whiff. I'm just gonna go through the contents here quickly because, oh, oh, I gotta do it now. Oh, what a classic. And I have saved the most interesting book for last. Notice there's no writing on this book here and you can't even make out what it says there perhaps. So let's go ahead and open it up so you can see this book. This book was written by a member of Bourbaki. Bourbaki was a group of elitist French mathematicians. By the way, the person who previously owned this copy uh, works or worked for the government. Um, I looked it up on the internet. I found them several years ago and they worked for the Department of Defense, I believe. Anyways, this is Elementary Theory of Analytic Functions of One or Several Complex Variables by the legendary Henry Cartan. And I wish I knew offhand how old he lived to be. He died several years ago. I, I think he lived to be 104, I don't know for sure, but definitely over 100 years old. And he was a you know, short little French man who was brilliant and wrote an incredible book. This book is intense. Let me just show you how it starts so you can see how intense it is. So this is actually chapter one of this book. Formal power series, algebra of polynomials. Let K be a commutative field. We consider the formal polynomials in one symbol or indeterminate X with coefficients in K. For the moment, we do not give a value to X. Then it talks about, you know, a vector space. And, you know, I mean, just right away, there's no like, this is a complex number. This is the real part. This is the imaginary part. No, no, no. I mean, Cartan just goes at it. So. Very rigorous, very classic text on complex variables. So those are four classic texts on various subjects. The Cartan book being a complex variables book, aka complex analysis, along with the book by Alfors. And again, these books are very rigorous. Um, you know, you want to read these with a pen or paper and a pencil and read them slowly because it takes a lot of effort. And then we have this one which is basically um, an undergraduate analysis book, AKA advanced calculus. And then we have real and complex analysis. This one's Baby Rudin and this one's Papa Rudin. So just a nice look at these books. As far as the whole elitism thing, what do you think? Do you think that mathematicians are elitist? You know, do you think that this is something that is true in general? And if it is true, you know, if you, if you do think that math people are elitist, do you think that perhaps it's a bad thing, right? So again, I really, I really don't know what to think about it. Um, I think that math is beautiful and some people can work really hard on math and get carried away and feel smart and that's okay, right? I mean, I, I think it's okay. I think as long as you love math and you love what you're doing, that's what matters the most. Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there and I hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe you've had um, some insight into some new subjects and really cool books. Good luck and take care.